Hey guys, welcome back to Carnivore Expeditions. Today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Kong Futura Body Ascender. And I'm going to hold it up to the camera here so you can take a good look at it. Um, why did I choose this? Well, I'm, um, I do some rock climbing, but I am primarily a cave explorer. And the reason that I bought this is because I'm always looking to make my climbing system smaller. Uh, a lot of times when I'm exploring a cave, the vertical work may be miles into a cave, so I'm having to crawl and carry gear for a mile, maybe two, three miles before I actually even get to a place where I would use my climbing system. So I want my climbing system to be as small and compact and as lightweight as possible. Uh, this is the Futura, and I'm going to hold up next to it a Petzl Crow. Uh, these are both... Uh, as you can see, these are these are both uh, body ascenders or chest ascenders. I use them in a SRT uh, frog system, uh, and you can you can clearly see that the uh, the Futura is about the half the size of the uh, of the Petzl Crow. Um, and that's why I wanted to give it a try. I, I'm looking to minimize my system, so that's why I chose the uh, the Kong Futura to give it to give it a try just to see how it works. When it comes to opening the uh, Kong uh, Body Futura, um, you just pull back on this little orange tab and lock it in place. Um, it comes with this little bit of cord, um, which you can also uh, pull on the cord to open and lock it in place as well. And of course, to close it, you just uh, hit it with your thumb and it <coughs> closes fairly easily. Um, the Kong Futura, it is CE and uh, UIAA rated. Just here in a controlled environment, it seems like it attaches to the rope very easily and also comes off very easily as well. So, uh, I have used this a few times in a cave. I'll talk to you more about that in a few minutes. Um, I want you to take a look at the teeth. You can see that the, there's the teeth on the ascender, and compare that to the to the uh, to the teeth on the Petzl Crow. It's about uh, you're going to have about half the surface area when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the teeth than you will on the uh, on a full size uh, Petzl Crow ascender. Okay, I'm in my backyard. I've got my rope treadmill uh, set up. This is a, uh, a 10 millimeter static rope. I believe it's made by PMI. Um, if you look at the back of the Kong uh, Futura body ascender, it says that it will fit ropes from nine millimeter to 12 millimeter. So uh, I'm gonna slip that on there. It does fit this 10 millimeter rope very well. Um, the rope is stiff. Like I said, this is a static rope, not a dynamic rope. And I have, uh, I have taken off my, pretz my Petzl Kroll and replaced it with the Kong Futura Body Ascender. So uh, we're going to give it a try and see how it works. Okay, guys, I don't know how well you can see this, uh, but I... Um, I've got. The, I'm in my foot loop, and I've got the. Uh, I've got the Futura body uh, attached to the rope, and the issue that I'm having is that uh, every time I try to take a step up, the rope doesn't feed through the uh, Futura body. I'm having to each time just uh, reach down with my hands and pull the rope, uh, pull the rope through the ascender. Um, I had this same problem when I tried to use this system in a cave and the Futura it just doesn't feed very well um, I'm going to try another trick here to see if I can get it to work Okay, I am back on rope again, and if you I'll show you what I decided to do I uh, I, I tied a couple of uh, barbell plates to the bottom of the rope uh, to give it some weight, uh, maybe that will help it feed through the feed through the fu uh, the the Futura body a little better. So we're gonna I'm gonna try to step up a few times and see if that works better. Uh, 
okay that does work uh, that is working much better I have I have uh, 10 pounds of weight on the bottom of the rope and it seems to be advancing a lot better as I try to climb so the future of body it does work with a SRT frog system however it has to be weighted the entire time uh, I have tried to use this in a cave and I had to either feed the rope the entire time or I had to have someone uh, pull on the bottom of the rope uh, uh, really the whole time while I made it up to the top so um, that's kind of what you're looking at uh, when it comes to climbing rope with the uh, Futura body ascender. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up regarding the Kong Futura body. Um, I had a terrible time climbing on this using some very stiff uh, static rope. Um, you know, you would think that if it, the static rope would make it easier and it didn't and I imagine it would be it would be even worse if you tried to climb with dynamic rope. This is just very supple uh, very supple rope and I'm sh sure the Kong would just have a terrible time um, advancing through uh, some very um, <clears throat> some very flexible lightweight rope. So um, I haven't had good luck with this uh, using it inside of a cave um, just because just because the it just doesn't feed the rope very well and it's it's really just uh, in my opinion it's more trouble than it's worth um, as far as the pros and cons go um, the pros um, it's very lightweight it's very compact it doesn't take up a lot of room in my pack and uh, that's about it as far as the cons go um, it just it just doesn't feed the rope very well. It just you just can't advance very well with it. Um, another another negative or another con is that um, this doesn't work very well at all. If it gets a little mud in it, there are some springs in here that are exposed, and I have been in a cave before where I got a little bit. Of, I got some grit and mud in those springs, and I had a horrible time. Uh, getting uh, getting this ascender detached from the rope. Uh, I mean, I had to I had to I had to sit there for five or ten minutes and and pour water on it and try to clean it out just to get it off the rope. So um, this may work well for other disciplines. Like maybe maybe you're a tree arborist uh, and maybe it would work well in 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 that in that type of environment. Maybe. I don't see it working very well for rock climbers either, but, um, you know, uh, but as far as an SRT frog system in a cave, I don't recommend this at all. I've had very good experience with Kong products over the, over the years, uh, and this is the first time I've ever given a negative review when it comes to a Kong product. One of the Kong products that I like is the Kong Futura Hand Ascender. And I'm going to do a separate review of this, so I'll try to link it to this video. Um, if you can't find the link for it, it'll be up on my page uh, shortly. So uh, check out my review of this uh, Kong Futura Hand Descender, um, which is also uh, compact as well. But as far as the Futura Body Ascender, um, I really can't recommend it. On a rating of uh, five star rating, I would only give it two stars out of five, uh, just simply because I've had so much trouble with it in, inside a cave environment. So anyway, have you had any experience with the Kong Futura body? If you have, leave your comments below. Let, let me know what you think. And uh, thank you for watching this review and please subscribe to our channel.